we're starting the trail down to um, Quagnut Hollow and uh, we just dropped off the top of Sowats Peak and um, our goal today is maybe make it to the one of the springs. I'm carrying a lot of water so I have a fair amount of weight um, that I normally don't carry but I want to make sure that I have enough today in case I don't make it to a water source and uh, I think this total route is going to be 40 miles round trip. Yeah, it's amazing out here. Boy, the uh, overlook is just incredible. This is definitely the less traveled route down into Kanab Creek, I would assume, but it's not bad. It's all right. Um, I think there are only about six people, or actually four now, down into this whole area uh, from the trail register. So not many people out here at all. It's really hard to get out to this area. It's uh, it's 45 miles of forest road to even get out to so watts point and uh it's a couple hours on that type of road and you are really in the middle of nowhere Okay, I made it to the confluence of Quagnut Hollow and Jump Up Canyon here. And uh, we are heading down this way to go to um, the Jump Up Narrows, and then we'll be able to get to um, Kanab Creek uh, Canyon. And um, we're not too far from the start of the Narrows. And um, the uh, trail down Quagnut is, um, there's a lot of scrambling on it and a lot of bypassing the the spillways and um, that really takes the time uh, that really takes time out um, you don't make a lot of progress very fast and there's a lot of boulders and the stream bed rocks that um, make the footing difficult and continually just sliding and you know that type of stuff but um, it's really amazing. It's certainly a lot hotter down here than it is up on the rim. No chance to get down to here with the flash flood. This is like glass. It's super smooth. You can't even, there's no friction at all. It's just like, uh, like glass. Made it to the uh, the first spring down in uh, Kanab Creek uh, Canyon before Shower Bath Spring. Um, we're we're camping out here at the spring, a uh, beautiful spring, and um, the frogs are starting to uh, do their their night songs. So uh, we'll see how many of them get going.
sounds like the frogs are going to start their song uh, tonight. So I, um, I think there's going to be a, a ton of those tonight. So it'll be interesting to hear that. Um, I set up my camp over here by the springs. Um, really good spring. Um, and I think it's about a mile or so, a mile and a half before shower bath springs. Yeah, we just got into Scotty's Hollow and uh, we're going to start heading up the canyon and finding the uh, different uh, spillways that they have and um, taking the next couple hours and checking it out. So the waterfall behind me, you can't get, you can't climb up it, it's too slick and you, you just can't even get up, it's just polished rock. But there's a route to the right of it once you enter the canyon that you can traverse up. It's about 30 to 50 feet of a scramble, and that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to head this way and then head on uh, to the upper part of the canyon. Yeah, we're at the uh, top of the waterfall, so we're going to head up canyon and see what else we can find. But uh, yeah, this is really uh, just a great place.
So I'm gonna head on out, uh, get on up to uh, Qui-Gon Canyon where the next water source is, set up camp, and then uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna hike to the rim up to Sowats Point, and uh, that'll be my trip. This was an awesome, this unbelievable canyon. It's just, it's sick. Hard to get down here, but man, is it worth it. Um, Scotty's Hollow was just insane. And uh, Shower Bath Spring was just, it's just incredible. And uh, that's where I camped out last night. Just the sound of the water was just, just amazing. So, and the frogs were singing, the bats were flying around, um, the crickets. It's just, this is a great place. And here comes the morning sun up over the canyon wall. Right, and boulder hop in. This is what you're gonna this uh, boulder hop in on this trail is relentless. This is the prime. This is the majority of this hike. It's like the uh, the boulder field from hell. This one's a big one, and it looks endless, but. I'm trying to pick a really good path around this stuff and hop, hop, hop. It's been polished from the water so smooth it shines. It's like glass. It's just, just crazy. A flood was coming. Uh, there is no way you are done for. Boulder jam. A lot of these going up the beginning of uh, Quaggan Canyon. And uh, we're at the start um, from where it meets um, Jump Up. And we're gonna start heading up until we find some water. And it's almost the middle of the day, so I think it's gonna time to find a good campsite with uh, some a little bit of water. I know there's a spring up here under some trees. Well, it looks like we have the, uh, the nightly mating calls going on tonight with the, uh, the tree frogs that are out here. Let's see how long they get this, uh, let's see how long they keep the songs going tonight. Well, we're climbing out of the canyon this morning, uh, or our spillway where we camped out down here. Uh, and then we gotta traverse these ledges here and head over to the canyon that way to uh, bypass a spill, you know, spillway. Uh, it's pretty steep, so uh, some loose rock, but there's some good ledges here where you can uh, get across the side. Just take your time.
pretty tiny. He's a scared little guy just hunkered down there in the bottom of the the keeper pothole. But uh, anyway, that's what they look like. Uh, they were singing all night long till about midnight. Well, we're hanging out at the Cottonwoods and uh, before we hit the last uh, climb up to the top and the switchbacks. But, um, so I'm gonna grab some water, grab my pack and uh, start heading up to the top. Well, that concludes our trip uh, down to the canyon. Just uh, signed out on the registry and gonna head over to my truck and go get cleaned up and have some, some food and some water and relax and just take it easy today up on the rim.